Why, hello there, everybody. How is it going? It is time, probably quite past due, in fact, for a big update. Now, lots of stuff has to happen for us to go to King of the Hammers in 2022, as many of you well know. Of course, we have to have a Bronco to race. If we don't have a Bronco to race, then what? we're going to race on foot, and we're probably not going to win the race on foot, or complete, to be honest. We need to haul the Bronco out there because uh, there are lots of states in between Texas and California, California included, where like the law is not very friendly towards non-street legal vehicles, and uh, you would kind of like need to have the vehicle make it to the King of the Hammers in order to race. So we're building a towing rig. We're kind of sort of optionally working on a camping rig of some sort, but that's really going to be dependent on the budget at the end of the day. At, at worst case scenario, I'm more than happy to just simply rough it and bring some heavy blankets so I don't freeze in the middle of the desert at night. So, there's that, but one of the things I haven't talked too much about whenever it comes to trying to get myself over to the King of the Hammers is that I also run a business called The Local AC Guy, as you can see right here. And it's an air conditioning business based here in Southeast Texas. And I have struggled for the past probably five years about to be going on six years to to learn the process of running a business and to be profitable in that effort. And it's really a concept that has been kind of lost on me. I've had lots of fun doing what I do, and I absolutely love what I do for a living, don't get me wrong. But it has been a very challenging effort on my behalf to try to maintain life, really, as that has gone. I mean, I'm here in an office building, you know, my bed is just behind this wall that you see over here, not even in a bedroom. It's literally just stuffed into a hallway for good measure. Uh, not that I've hated that. It's been fine, really. But it's definitely not much of a house. And my poor little dogs only have a little tiny office to run around in, except for whenever I bring them outside or to the local dog park. So, struggles aside, business is a little bit rough. Uh, on top of that, I'm a little ADD, which probably doesn't make it any easier. In fact, that's probably what has made it tougher, toughest, as tough as it has been so far. Now, that is part of this project. Part of the goal, I've read a couple of books. I guess I should you know, go back a little bit, speaking of ADD. I've read a couple of books on business that have given me some great concepts that I've been really looking forward to implement and make a part of the business. And in order for me to be successful at this King of the Hammers thing, a great huge hobby of mine that I'm passionate about, I also need to make my business work a little bit more efficiently. So I've been trying to find ways I can delegate my tasks off, and so far I've actually been successful. I've hired two office girls so far, and they're much more organized than I could ever hope to be, which has been a huge step in the right direction. Furthermore, shortly after that, I hired on a service technician to tackle the field whenever business is just a little bit too hot. And uh, more importantly, whenever business is not quite super duper busy, he can go handle the doing part while I handle the designing of the business, making my business, you know, again, be a much more efficient profit machine of sorts. It's still a lot of work. But that's what I've been mainly focusing on, being an air conditioning professional, Summer season is incredibly important for me to do anything that I want to do. And so this long pause that you have all suffered uh, in terms of my lack of videos showing uh, has been because I've been working so hard on the business and getting that going. I now do have a service technician that runs out in the field and a nice, reliable 2001 F-250 that I've had purchased uh, running service calls for me. He has a helper that runs with him that has worked with this guy in the past at other locations. And uh, they work well as a team together. And then I have two office girls who are working on, of course, obviously getting customers scheduled and taken care of, but also working on new and interesting forms of advertisement that I have not been able to con contemplate myself in the past. A little bit more design work goes by, and I think I might be able to escape my business for short periods. My goal is, business-wise to make it so I can leave my business with no little to very little, li very little to no communication. Wow, say that 10 times fast. If I can do that, my business still survive and maybe even profit in my absence, then I'm absolutely making the right steps in the right direction. The two books, by the way, that I had mentioned earlier is Clockwork, Design Your Business to Run Like a Clock, and The E-Myth. Both of those are fantastic books if you are planning on starting a business of your own. 
I highly recommend that you read those two books. And finally, a book that I've been trying to read, but I'm really having a hard time understanding the concepts so far, uh, is a book called Profit First. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and put those books down in the description. I'm, I read them off of Audible. I'm not sponsored in any way. Uh, I just use my vehicle time to try to learn a new lesson instead of making it go to waste and just driving from point A to point B. But that's what my project focus has been, which is a part of the quest for the hammers. So, so far I've been successful just lacking of videos and lacking of various other things. I've also uh, destroyed my phone and got myself another new phone. Uh, this is the S21, and I'm excited to see how it films. Uh, we shall see, of course. Uh, but that is what we are looking at in terms of most recent updates and recent happenings. I've been absent because I've been working on the business, and there's just really nothing to film or nothing to share, really, entertainment, or that has any entertainment value on that. Sorry, I had a bubble there. I had to get that popped. So, it's been mainly just working on the boring stuff. Now, with that said, I have made a little bit of progress. Sorry, I thought that I saw a road hanging out of my window. I have made a little bit of progress on the vehicle so far. Some of it I have recorded and just not edited. Some of it I didn't record at all. The F-350, I've got up and running driving on the street regularly now. It is a regular operating point A, point B vehicle. I've got the air conditioning fixed in it. I really regret not filming that, but it was a bit of an adventure. So I might make an overview of that here in a little bit. But uh, I've got air conditioning in it. I've got lights and turn signals working in it. I've got the oil uh, cooler fixed. I've got lots of other things taken care of, and I still got yet more projects to do on that truck to make it reliable and capable of hauling vehicles on down to the King of the Hammers. On the Bronco, I've cut out the roll cage and I've set up a couple other things. It's still in the process of being disassembled. And I think what I'm probably going to have to do here soon, because right now, as of this recording, I am looking at my calendar. It says 9 6 of 21, which tells me I've got, what is that, three months, a little less than three months to uh, go. Maybe right about three months to go before everything needs to be complete and done. And that might be a bit of a stretch. I know the Bronco is going to need some axle shafts. I need to redo the rear suspension. I need to uh, redo the brakes on it to make that more reliable. I need to build a full roll cage and an engine cage. The F-350 needs to be legalized a little bit better than it already is. Uh, it still needs work, of course, too. I need a trailer to haul everything with, and I have a great lead on that sort of stuff. And I still have to figure out the camping arrangement. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do just yet, so... There's still lots of potential money to be spent. I know what I need to do to make a reliable, capable machine for the King of the Hammers. And I'm hoping not to cut certain corners that I might have to cut. But that is the current update. The Bronco is still being disassembled, still needs to be worked on. The F-350 is making headway, and we are running short on time. So, what else was I going to say there? I could have swore I had something else. Oh! The new schedule. So I might, in order to make this happen, I've done something similar before. I built the previous iteration of the Bronco in a very short amount of time, as well as a buddy of mine's Jeep in a very short amount of time. And I did so by sleeping an hour and a half at a time and then working on my project and then going back and sleeping for an hour and a half at a time. And I do this probably about four or five times a day, which equates, you know, one and a half times four is six hours of sleep, uh, all the way up to seven and a half hours of sleep. So that's enough rest and enough time for one to get, you know, the, the required amount of rest within a 24-hour period, although it is physically demanding. Physically, you don't really get any rest out of that, and it's pretty tough to have to deal with. So I think I might have to switch over to that schedule to see if we can really knock out some of the stuff. I'm going to try my absolute best to try and film and save and edit and post in those periods, but I still only have this I do have some GoPros that are old, and I might maybe be able to put those to use, but I'm not quite sure. I may need to still do some investing in my filming side of things, but that is what we're looking at next. I might be changing my schedule to, <laughs> to be relentless and exhausting in order to get some of this stuff knocked out, especially now that I have a business that can operate without me being the one turning the wrenches. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's the update that I've got for now. Uh, 
yeah, I think that pretty much covers it all. So thank you all so much for watching this update. I'm not quite sure how many of you enjoy talking head videos, but uh, I think that's all I've got for you for today. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Boop!